Well, today has been a pretty scary day. I found out that my bosses expect me to raise cells at the cinema, even though they're at their highest in years. I also experienced Edward being sassy and acting tough to his mother during school. Looks like I'm going to have to have a talk with him when I get home. Daddy! Well, hey, sweetheart. How was your first day today? I see you got some cookies. Make sure you don't eat all those. I don't want you to spoil your dinner tonight. It was great. I made two new friends. But then Eddie was mean to me. He's being a mean old booger. <laughs> now, I don't want you calling people names. You know, okay? It's just not nice. Your brother is going through a hard time right now, and, well, he's dealing with it in his own way. I don't appreciate the way he's going about it, especially if he is being mean to my little girl, but I am sorry he was mean to you. I'll make sure I talk to him about it. Thanks, Daddy. How was your day? Did you make any friends? Well, no. No, not quite, honey. But I'm really glad you did. Did you learn anything new today? Not yet, but I got a reading book. It's called Holes. Oh, wow. Holes. I remember reading that as a kid. I was a little older than you. That's a really good book. Heck, not to mention a really good movie. It's a movie? It sure is, kiddo. And as soon as you are done reading it, we can watch it. How's that sound? That sounds awesome! Wonderful! <laughs> awesome, wonderful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go upstairs. You behave, okay? I'm just going to go talk to your brother. Okay, Daddy. That's my girl. Now, put up the rest of those cookies. I don't want you eating all that and spoiling your dinner. Your mom will have your hide. All right. Let's go up there and let's talk to Edward. I almost said little Edward. Oh, he's growing up way too fast. This sass on him, I don't know where he gets that. Is it from me or his mother? I have to ask my mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, son. So, we gonna talk about earlier today at school? I'm sorry, Dad. I am. I shouldn't have been mean to Mom. Or your baby sister. Yeah, and her too. Look, Edward, I know this is difficult for you. I know you wish you were still in public school, but you gotta understand, this is for the best, and it's even better for your education than the public school system can offer you. So you have a better chance at becoming whatever you want to be when you grow up. I know that's a long time away, but as your father, I want what's best for you, long term, and so does your mother. I understand, Dad. I'm sorry I raised my voice to Mom today. It wasn't right. It's okay, son. Just make sure you apologize to your mother. And yes, you are grounded from the computer for the night. Oh, man, but I said I was sorry. And I believe you, son. Hmm. Actually, I tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. If you help me with something after dinner... How's that sound? It's a deal. Well, good deal. But till then, no computer. Just do what homework you have and... Yeah, no computer. Yes, sir. Oh, well, welcome home, babe. How was the rest of your day? It was really good. The students are all just wonderful. And, by the way, Edward was telling the truth about not being in trouble with the principal today. Yeah, I already spoke with him about today and, well, he is grounded from the computer, but only until after dinner. Why until then, exactly? Well, I'm gonna have him and Lindsay help me with a project. A work project. Oh, well that sounds like fun. Oh, before it gets any later, what would you like for dinner tonight? Hmm. Well, how about steaks and potatoes? Sounds good to me. <laughs> All right, awesome. If uh, if you cook the potatoes, then I'll cook the steaks up. I know the kids want well done, and I want medium rare. What will you have tonight, honey? I'll take medium as well. All right, coming up, cutie. 
I'll be right back with four cooked up steaks. Just going to go get the grill started. And I'll have four baked potatoes ready in the oven. Well, as long as it isn't a bun in the oven. <laughs> no, I think the two are plenty. <laughs> Agreed. All right, I'll start the grill up. All right, you two, what do we say to Mom after dinner? Thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Awesome, thank y'all very much. Now, seeing that dinner is over, are y'all both ready to help me with my little project? Yeah, Daddy, let's do it! Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> well, honey, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to allow y'all to help me get in the brains of the youth. So, I want you to think, and think real hard for me, and then tell me what would make the local cinema more fun to come to. But the theater is already fun to go to. Well, what would make it more enjoyable? Like, what would you like to see added to the cinema? Games! Arcade games! <laughs> you, you mean a larger arcade setup? Yeah, new games! <laughs> Alright, awesome idea, honey. I'll write that down real quick. Uh, Alright, anything else? Edward, you got anything? Well, a friend of mine that I play online games with says there's a theater where he lives that have game nights. You mean, like, in the arcade area? No, they hook up consoles or a computer to the projector and play video games in the theater rooms. He says hundreds of people show up to watch him play. Really? I'll have to write that down and look into that. That sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you, Edward. All right, let me write that down. Very nice. Are these legit ideas for the theater? Like, are you thinking about making these ideas real? I sure am. We are trying to spice things up at the theater for people. So, um, yeah, what would you think people would like to see at the cinema? Kid movies! Well, what do you mean, Lindsay? Play kid movies, like old Disney movies. Oh, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. That might be nice for a few people. Great idea, honey. Well, what about the old people? Old people? Yeah, why don't you show old black and white movies to the elder? That's a really good idea. Especially with the local retirement home down the street. It could give them something to do each week, and I'd love to be able to help out that part of the community. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, no problem. Now, I guess if y'all come up with any other ideas, write them down and let me know them. You can be ungrounded now, Edward. No fear. I want something. <laughs> Honey, he didn't get anything. He just got ungrounded. I want something, too. Well, Lindsay, how about how about some ice cream? Ice cream. Yay! <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. So, yes, I'll make you a bowl of ice cream. Don't worry, Edward. I'll slip you one, too. Well, the kids are in bed and ready for tomorrow. Well, good deal, good deal. I really hope some of these ideas they gave, as well as some of my own, help the cinema out the way the bosses want. Not only for my own job, but for the jobs of all my employees. I hope so too, honey. And honestly, I'm sure they will. I do too. So, are you ready for bed? Yeah, I'm pretty tired, especially after today being my first work day in quite a while. I feel ya. Well, I want to stay up and try to get all these notes ready for tomorrow's meeting. You go ahead and go to bed. I'll be there soon, okay? I promise. Alright, honey. Just don't stay up too late. I'll try not to. I love you, Liz. I love you too, Josh.
Well, I see you enjoy watching Minecraft. Well, I have another channel where I'm able to play Minecraft and Roblox, so if you want to check that out, there will be a link in the description, and that's for my other channel, Proper Dummies. So go show that some love, and let's get into this next episode of Minecraft High School.